Welcome to video number three in this series. We'll now swap designers, having seen three locomotives by Mr Drummond, now two of Stroudley's finest locomotives. You might expect to see Terriers, but no, we're going to look at their more powerful successors, the D1 class, known originally as D-Tanks. The London and Brighton and South Coast D1 class were a powerful 042 suburban passenger tank locomotive designed by William Stroudley in 1873. Members of this very successful class survived in service until 1951. Numbering 125 locomotives, making them the most numerous class the London, Brighton and South Coast had. Originally in Stroudley's improved engine green and all named, they were both functional and handsome. During the 1940s, nine of the locos were equipped with firefighting equipment and stabled at the main depots to deal with German incendiary bombs. Also during World War II, six of the locos were loaned to the London, Midland and Scottish and served in the north of Scotland. It's always been a surprise to me that no manufacturers produced these in ready-to-run form. I have two models for you from my dad's collection. First is one of his original 1950s scratch-built locos, number 2274, originally named Guildford. This venerable old lady is showing her age a little now, but as can be seen, is still full of life. She's now been remoted with an Airthix 1001 five-pole motor, but originally had a much older type, possibly a Romford Bulldog. Of course, she is presented in 1938 passenger green livery. Running with her is 2605, a later modified wheels kit loco. She was named Stratum back in LBSC days. Both locomotives give a good account of themselves and like the prototype were happy on passenger or freight. A number of D1s were modified for push-pull working as can be seen here with 2605 in charge.
Thanks goes to Cressy Publishing Limited for allowing me to share images from the book. Check out their website, it's well worth it.